If you're using Cloudflare to host your domain, securing your emails with DMARC, SPF, and DKIM is essential. In today's video, I'll guide you through step-by-step -step process to set up email authentication protocols on your Cloudflare DNS. Let's get started with setting up SPF for my domain. To set up SPF, you can actually use the PowerDMARC generator tool here to generate your SPF record. You can go through this list and go step-by-step -step to generate the exact record that you need to publish on your DNS. So let's see and go ahead with this configuration. So I'd not like to authorize my MX or A records. I would like to have a sample IP address, so just say one, two, three, four, to be sending on my behave or to on my behalf. And for now, that is it. Just for your information, you can also set up IV6 addresses, IPv4 address ranges. You can set up MX domains for other domains or A records for other domains as well or third-party services that include uh, that have include mechanisms such as Microsoft, uh, Fortinet, and so on and so forth. So for this, I will just be taking the IPv4 option, and I would like to have my failure mode be soft fail, which is recommended. Once I'm done, I can generate my SPF record, and scrolling back up here, it will generate the record for me. So all I have to do is copy this information onto my DNS. Just copy the value to the clipboard already, Going back here, as we saw earlier, it will be a txt record. The host will be the root, so it will be still on at. The TTL we can leave at auto, and the content will be what we got from the uh, generator tool. Once that's all good and verified, all we have to do is save this record, and just like that, you'll have had SPF correctly configured for your domain on Cloudflare. Now that we have SPF configured, we can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is configuring DKIM. Again, heading back to the PowerDMARC Generator tool page, I can actually go to the DKIM Record Generator. With this tool, I can enter my selector name and the name of my domain, as well as set the bit key size. So in this case, let's call this example dot underscore domain key, which will be automatically set. My domain, which will be DMARC test 5 dot com as well as the recommended b uh, bit key size so we recommend 2048 as it has a high security and is supported by most dns and definitely supported by cloudflare going ahead and pressing the generate dkim record to generate the private key and the public key as well the private key should actually be published onto your mail service gateway so that way it'll basically be used for authentication. And what we are interested in at the moment is the public key, which is, or the generated DKIM record. So once we do, all we have to do is copy this to clipboard and then publish it on our DNS. So let's go back and do that right now. Going back to Cloudflare here, I can select the record type, which will be TXC again. In this case, the name, just to highlight the importance of it, has to include the dot underscore domain key. So we will just take this part of the record here, paste that in. And as you can see, we will have the full name up top for verification purposes. And the content, as I mentioned, we can just copy directly from the uh, generator tool. So in this case, once I'm sure that everything is correct and I am 100% uh, sure that my name is matching the one that I generated so that I can match it to my private key, I can go ahead and save this record. And with this, DKIM will have been published. With both SPF and DKIM properly configured, I can go ahead and protect my domain that is hosted on Cloudflare with a DMARC record. To publish a DMARC record, we can go ahead and first generate one using the DMARC record generator. We can set up our policy and adding all the details that are required. I'll keep the policy on none, add in my RUA and RUF emails, which will be RUA at DMARC test5.com and the RUF being similar with just the different name. With those done and confirmed, I will keep my alignment mode on relaxed and keep the forensic option only selecting the DKIM or SPF, don't pass or align. Once I'm done with that, I will generate the record and it will tell me the exact record that I would actually need to publish onto my DNS. So I'll go ahead and head to the Cloudflare page again and I will be once again publishing a TXC record. This time, the name will be underscore DMARC, as we saw on the page here, as the host. So underscore DMARC. And the content will be what we just created. 
Of course, you can tailor and configure the policy as to your need. So for me, I'll just be starting on P equals none. And once again, once that's done and confirmed, I will go ahead and save this. And that's it. You've successfully set up the email authentication protocols for your Cloudflare domain. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to sign up with PowerDMark today to take your domain security to the next level.